who the hell knows anymore, because, ugh, welcome to my week 12. Yeah, we're 12 weeks into these NFL predictions, and people, a handful of people still want to watch these, so I'm just kind of like, yeah, let's keep going. We've still got, we're, we're already through. We might as well get through the whole season, so let's get started um, with our uh, week 12 NFL predictions, but really, like, every, even people who are, like, good at predicting football games are like, what? what? How did the, how did this happen? Um, so let's get started with our Thanksgiving games, which, yeah, Thanksgiving games are all games that could go either way, really, because who the hell knows anymore? So our first game at 1230 is a game no one's going to want to watch. It's the Bears and the Lions. The Bears shitting the bed and the rumor that Matt Nagy is getting fired and the Lions, who are... Straight garbage. <laughs> Just straight garbage. I'm sorry. Um, this is a game that could literally go either way. Like, both teams are so bad. Like, it's not even funny. I want to say, like, I want to give hope that the Lions, as a Thanksgiving Day thing, like, they'll be thankful for a win, but I'm giving it tentatively to the Bears, but I would not be shocked that the Lions would be so bad that they would... I mean, the, the Bears are so bad that the Lions would get a win. Um... That's what I think is that it, they would be so bad, and then even though it's rumored that Matt Nagy will get fi would get fired um, after Thanksgiving, he will get fired for losing to a winless team. So who knows? Maybe it could work out either way. Next up, we got the Raiders and the Cowboys at four thirty. I'm actually interested in this game, even though both the Raiders and the Cowboys, like the Ra the Cowboys, got beat hard by the the Kansas City Chiefs who just decided to wake up and go, oh, we're, oh, right, we're the Kansas City Chiefs. Fuck all of you. <laughs> um, and the Raiders have fallen apart as per usual. And not because, like, it's like the universe hates the Raiders. I don't know if, like, Al, if, like, Al Davis, like, pissed off God or something or made a deal with the devil for those Super Bowl wins. But, yeah, that, mm. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, I, like, I think that, like, this will be a good game, but I am giving it to the Cowboys, even though, yeah, they lost the Chiefs, but yeah, they, the Cowboys still have, like, a lot of weapons on, um, on offense, and their defense is getting good. I th and the Raiders, as per usual, why do we give hope to the Raiders in modern day times? Like, oh, they're really good. They they could be division leaders, and then they just fall apart halfway through. So, yeah, I do think this will be a good game, though. But I do see the Cowboys winning this one. Next up, we have the Bills and the Saints. This is two teams that are wildly inconsistent these days. I honestly thought earlier in the year that the Bills were, like, the real AFC team, but now, recently, I've been watching them fall apart. Like, how do you lose to the Jags? And then you had a close... And then you had a loss to the Colts, which you should have won. I, um... I don't know, and the and the Saints, I don't know what, what version of the Saints is going to show up. And what version of the Bills. I really don't know who could win this game. I really don't. Um... I think I'm going to give this... I think I'm going to give it because of the Saints. I am going to give this... Every time I pick the Bills, they lose. So maybe if I pick the Saints, the um, the Bills will win. Who knows? But that Bills def... I'm giving it slightly because that Bills defense can be suffocating. But this is also bad for you Bills fans because now, guess who's back in, at the top of the division? The hoodie. The one person... The one team we hate. We all collectively hate. Goddamn Patriots. So, this could go either way. I think this could go in the Saints' favor, but I, I do wish the Bills win. I do think the Bills could take this. They, like, could... They could right the ship, beca um, because I don't know what version of the Bills or the Saints that we're gonna get. I don't know. It's like watching... These, all three of these games are like watching, te like watching teams where you don't know who could win. You don't know what version of the teams are gonna show up. Anyway... So let's talk. So let's move on to games that are a little more easier to gauge. Um, Bills and Steelers. Steelers, you had a 27-point comeback in the fourth quarter against the Chargers, and they still lost. Um, but it's the Chargers, so what can you really say? It's the, the Chargers. 
can hurt themselves. So I don't buy that you made a comeback. The Chargers just choke. Like, they're just the Chargers. Bengals, you've righted the ship after that Raiders game. I kind of figured you would. Um, and I think, like, you've also proven that you guys can take it to the Steelers. TJ Watt is still out. Um, Minka is out. And Roethlisberger is just, is just, you know, it's it's kind of proven that he is not the quarterback we thought he was anymore. Um, um, ben Raplesberger. Um, so I am going to give this to the Bengals. I think um, the, the Bengals after that bye week and playing against hard, like just dominating the Raiders have proven, oh yeah, we're not the Bungles. And we're about to prove it again to the Steelers. So yeah, I'm going to give this one to the Bengals. Um, so next up, we got the Panthers and the Dolphins. Panthers, you had, uh, you, you, you lost to the, uh, to the Washington football team with Cam, which I was, uh, which a part of me was like, ah, uh, but you still played pretty close. Like it wasn't a shutout. So just a few mistakes. Dolphins, you somehow beat the, um, you somehow beat the Ravens who kind of beat themselves Panther, I'm going to give this slightly to the Panthers, um, but again, like, I don't know what, ver like, it's going to be like that moment where the Dolphins are just going to be like, oh yeah, we gave all our draft picks to the Eagles uh, for next season, so let's just hurt them more with more winning and make that draft stock just a little worse. I'm going to get, but I'm going to give this to the Panthers. I think they are rounding out and they are like getting stronger. Even though they lost to the to Washington, they are like Cam kind of like is bringing them to more power. And also I trust them more than them with if Sam Darnold, Darnold was the QB, I'd have been like I'm going to give it to the Dolphins even though they're losing. Um next up we got the Eagles and the Giants, two teams that are well, actually no, I'm, I I I'm going to give this one to the Eagles. Even though yes, I've always said that divisional games always bring out the best in both teams, and they do get competitive. The Eagles game, however, I, I, I the Eagle, I'm going to give this to the Eagles because now I'm starting to see like an Eagles team that is really like really starting to form up. Like even um, Jalen Hurts is getting stronger. Um, I'm seeing a lot of uh, coordination here and there, but it is still. I don't think they're going to make it to the playoffs. Sorry, Eagles fans. Giants, you just fired um, the Clapper. I don't know if that's good or not. And Joe Judge is just a garbage coach. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry. Um, and you still have Daniel Jones as a QB. So I'm giving this to the Eagles. <laughs> anyway, next up, we got my Tennessee Titans taking on the New England Patriots. Titans, what the fuck? I want an explanation. I want an. I want like a legit explanation for that bullshit I saw against a team you should have been playing uh, up to potential. The Texans. I know divisional games get competitive, like I've like I've been saying, but like, what in the great good fuck was that? It was the Texans. Come on. Do you? Are we just suffering from Steelers syndrome in that we just you know? play down to our competition and don't show up till the last second when we realize, oh, we suck. Adrian Peterson's gone, by the way, which I'm fine with. I, I didn't think he was needed. Um, um, I did, also, I think Adrian AP was probably like... Uh, I, there's a, like I've heard inside things that Adrian Peterson was not only like not a good running, uh, not a good replacement for Derrick Henry, but I will say also that apparently he was locker room cancer. Now, the Titans play a really good game. Patriots are concerning, so this game could go either way. This is being played in Foxborough. Titans are still the divisional leader of the AF the still the number one seed in the AFC, and we need this win. So I can't I'm not gonna jinx it and I can't pick a winner, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna skip this one. but I would love nothing more than Matt uh, than uh, Vrabel to just once again embarrass uh Belichick at Foxborough. I would love nothing more than to see that again. Uh, anyway, let's move on now to Falcons and Jaguars. A game that literally just no one wants to watch. Falcons, you're garbage. Jacksonville, you're also garbage. And I'm pretty sure that um, your coach is going to get fired by the end of the season. Um, so, I don't know who to root for here. Um... Maybe the Falcons will get a lead and then suddenly choke in the last second. So this game could go either way because of who is going to outsuck the other. I'm going to give it slightly to the Falcons 
just slightly, but again, who knows? Maybe the Jaguars will get another win. Who knows? Anyway, moving on to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the Indianapolis Colts. Colts pulling off a major upset against the Buffalo Bills, and they're starting to round out to a better team. Like, they're getting stronger, and they are definitely going to be playing for a wild card spot. Bill, um, the Indianapolis Colts defense is getting and uh, getting stronger, and that run game is just devastating. And the Buccaneers kind of played, yeah, they played thirty to ten. They won by twenty points against uh, against New, New York, but they played an ugly game too. Um, the Colts are the Colts are starting to really round out. And when I like I've said, when Carson Wentz is healthy, he is dev he is a dangerous QB. I think he's a very good QB, and they've got an excellent run game. Um, that secondary for the Buccaneers is really bad. I think, I'm, like, call me crazy, but I think I'm going to give this to the Colts. The Colts are getting stronger on defense. Carson Wentz, when he's healthy, he's he can beat you out. Um, so this is a very, this could be a very close game, but I think the Colts, even though, yes, they are AFC South rivals, um... I'm giving this to the I'm like the Bucks. Uh, uh, they're also playing in Indianapolis, and that's a very danger. That's a very loud stadium, and they really don't like Tom Brady. They really don't. So I'm gonna give this to the Colts, even though yeah, they're they're like five and five right now. But they that uh, that that um that doesn't quite show off their um. Their 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 talent. Next up is a game no one wants. To, is another tank bowl that no one's gonna get. Is Texans and Jets. Uh, the legend of Mike White from the Jets has been crashed because the Jets can't have anything nice. Texans, you're equally garbage. I don't know how you suddenly won against the the Titans. I'm gonna give it slightly to the Texans, but again, maybe the Je maybe that Texans talent will. Uh, go down in flames, and the Jets will just lose. We'll just win another one. Next up, we got a divisional game against the Chargers and Broncos. Broncos, yeah, you got that great upset win against the the Dallas Cowboys, but yeah. Chargers, I don't know either, because you nearly choked that game against the Steelers, which you should have won. I am still giving this to the Chargers, but like, Chargers, come on. You want, you want to prove that you're not some... Um, that you're not some, you know, you're not a fluke. You've got to play better, and you've got to win against the divisional rival here. Because, yeah, the, the Broncos are total frauds. So, yeah. Next up is a very impressive game of the Vikings and 49ers. Vikings, you pulled off, like I, I called it, I want to say once again that I did call that the Vikings would beat Green Bay. Um... I knew they were gonna. I, I like. I called it last week that uh, I got a lot wrong, but that was one of the things I was. Uh, I was actually like, oh, I did back the right horse in this scenario. I mean, yeah, it was by a field goal, goal, but still, 49ers are also on an upswing as well. Jimmy Jesus Garoppolo. Uh, Jimmy, uh, yeah, Jimmy Jesus is now playing like Jimmy Jesus again, and Debo Samuel's. Just an excellent athlete. This is a game that could go either way. Both teams, even though they have a losing record right now, they do have a lot of talent. So this could go either way. I honestly don't know who could win. I think I'm going to give it slightly to the 49ers, but this could go in the Vikings' favor if they play like they did last week against Green Bay. Anyway... Next up, we got the L.A. Rams taking on the Green Bay Packers. Packers, you came off a a loss that should that that stings. L.A., I don't know what's wrong with you. Hopefully, this bye week has righted the ship, um, or maybe Ob the curse of OBJ has ruined your chances of getting into the playoffs. Who knows? This is another game that could have play uh, this game has a lot of playoff potential. Um, so, but I am going to give it slightly to the L.A. Rams. Mostly because the Green Bay Packers are suffering one injury after another, and Rogers is Rogers' offensive line as well as his and the Green Bay's defense is starting to that list is starting to really shrink here. 
So I think I'm going to give this to L.A. I really do think um, L the, L the L.A. But again, this is a game that is a coin toss is who to win. I do think that why I'm giving this to L.A., they, L.A., they they're coming off of a bye week. They've hopefully righted some of the problems they've had. And maybe they've, they've uh, lifted the curse of OBJ. Who the fuck knows? Next up for our Sunday night game is the Browns and the Ravens. Two te one team that is just snake bit, and the other team that I don't know what's who's going to show up. I also know that this team doesn't have is not going to have Lamar Jackson and several pieces on their offense and defense. I think I'm going to give this slightly to the Browns, but every time I feel like I give it to the Browns, they lose. Yet an ugly they had an ugly win against the Lions, thirteen to ten. But I, as I've always said, these divisional games always bring out the best in both teams. So, I, like, both are without Baker Mayfield and Lamar Jackson. This is going to be an, a fascinating game to watch. Um, yeah, so I'm going to give it... I think the Browns' defense is still... Like, the Browns' offense and defense are still pretty strong. So, but again, this is a tough one to call because we are without Mayfield and Lamar Jackson. So it's two battle of two backup QBs. Finally, for our Monday night game, we have the we have Washington taking on the Seattle Seahawks. This is another game that could go either way. Russell Wilson um Seahawks have just given up. They it looks like they've given up. I'm going to say for calling an upset here because now the Washington's playing like an, on an upswing and that defense is playing up to potential now like, like they should have done at the beginning of this season. Um, I'm going to give this one to Washington. I think um, they find, like, I hate the idea of their owner getting anything good, but they're not going to make it to the playoffs. But Seahawks, you've just given up. Like, you've, like, you got Russell Wilson back. It's, but after the past few weeks, it's very clear that the season's over for you. You are done. You're just done. But again, this could go, this is another coin toss game. And who the fuck knows in this, in this series anymore? Um, so yeah, I'm giving this to the Washington football team. Anyway, so you guys tell me in the comments below, who do you, um, what are your, for all five people who watch this or less, um, who do you have for uh, this week 12 uh, of football? Just comment below, let me know. And once again, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.